Quiet on set. You or, Yeah. Me? Just at me. So we don't answer that? No. Let's, are you, do you want to? I don't know. I, no, no, no. We're just having so a conversation. Stare at you? you don't have to stare. I know. I'm just asking. I'm not going to not look at you then. Um, okay. All right. So today we are going to talk about co-parenting. Great. It's a very popular word, I feel like, these days. Co-parenting? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel like, like a lot of people either look at us and say, like, wow, that's amazing, you know, that you guys are able to um, do this together. I, I was talking to my mom today, and she was like, I'm so proud of you for going to Finland, you know, with Scott and Sophia, and you guys are doing such a great job. I'm so proud awesome. of all of you. But I feel like people will either look at us like we're crazy, like... I'd rather people look at us like we're crazy and we get to spend time together and raise our family together than doing it the other direction. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it's about what other people think. Yeah. No, I think other people just think if they were in that position... They couldn't do they it. They couldn't do it. And right. I don't think a lot of people are probably strong enough to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's not like the easiest thing for us, but the fact that we've tried and we've made it work makes life that much better. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't imagine raising three children with somebody that I couldn't speak to every day. Yeah, I do not get how people can do that. That, to me, seems way harder. Well, it's not harder, it's just different. And it just sucks because you can't be on any kind of the same page and then the kids are just bounced around into completely different things. I mean I know other people that are in relationships or you know were and they don't talk to the person mm -hmm. and there's so many things that they're confused about. You know, I do think we're very lucky to be <coughs> doing it this way and that we can if we have an issue or something that you know one of the kids is going through we can deal with it together. And, uh, and, you know, nobody knows our kids better than us. So to be able to do that together and, like, come up with solutions together, I think is, you know, there's no better, like, what else could you want? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're just raising our kids how we would have raised them, whether mm -hmm. we were together or not. Mm -hmm. And just because we are not together, our kids should not suffer. Mm -hmm. And it's hard that there's other, I mean, I know if my parents would have split, how devastated I would have been. You've been through it. Mm -hmm. And you know how hard it was. Mm -hmm. And our kids just don't deserve that. Even though, what? Nothing. <laughs> uh, Nothing. Did I give a weird face? I mean, just laughing. I was looking down because I was going to see what was the next question. Oh, so you're already moving on. <laughs> That's what a, a good reporter does. Interviewer. Are you considered a Inter reporter? Interviewer. Oh, you're very good. I mean, not that I have any history in this, but from what I can tell, you're really good. How do we keep our relationship with the kids equal so that we don't play favorites? With each kid? Yeah. I think we're really good at that. Yeah, I mean, there are children I, I would never want to tell one of them or compare them to each other we definitely don't yeah. do that well they're also different too yeah they're completely different and i but i think you know growing up with five siblings my mom did compare us she still does she, and she still does she did <coughs> it to me yesterday what'd you say she said you're not kendall about something and i was like so, i know thanks. i'm courtney thanks and i'm very happy with who yeah. i am um, wow. <clears throat> yeah, and I called her I would today hate about to be it. compared to somebody. That would be horrible. And I said the world compares us enough. Like we don't need to be compared but by our own mother. And I was, and I was thinking about it today that we never do that. No, it doesn't really even cross my mind. No. So I think it's just like knowing how to love your kids. Not even knowing. I I think it's more of a natural thing. You just love your kids for their, you know, who they are as individuals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it took time to figure out, you know, how to embrace and how to show your kids how much you love them without overdoing it and spoiling and overindulging. 
just because you love them, you know what I mean? That we're good at that? Yeah. Even though we're, I'm, I'm saying we're trying. I think that's something to bring that, that we're down. working on. Because I think we're just very fortunate, and I don't think we thought we were going to be as fortunate as we are. And we're just still living in the moment of like, wow, we're so lucky we were able to give our kids so much. But I read this quote the other day, and it was like, give your kids like don't don't buy your kids the things that you didn't have give them like whether it's the love you didn't get or the knowledge like things that you now know to how to be a better sure, person that. that's what we need to be giving our kids instead of things and it's not that you can't give them both but i do think you know giving material things especially when it's just given so easily like it like there's no real appreciation which maybe is a good thing because i don't really care that much about but stuff it doesn't rule my world but then if you look at i mean you are living on the street i mean it's tough yeah do you want me to interview you sure what's the biggest challenge you've faced so far while co-parenting and how'd you overcome it how do you recognize and handle these challenges? I think the hardest part was when we both started new relationships. Don't you? No, but... Like, the hardest part with... Because that caused fights between you and I about yeah. introducing the kids. Right, yeah, right. Um, yeah, that's hard. I think that caused the most challenges. Yeah, it's one of those things you don't think is ever going to happen. Right. But like everything in the world, you know, things move and... So I think that that was like the time that you and I like had our biggest, like where I was like, I felt like we like had to literally go to therapy to talk. Yeah. To even get through like a, yeah. you know, to be able to like communicate together. Yeah, that was, that was a big one. Mm. You? Ah, the biggest challenge in co-parenting. Yeah, I, would, I mean, I think the biggest challenge was just trying to figure out how we separate, you know, our relationship as friends mm -hmm. and parents and still be on the same page and what's, I guess, appropriate and what's not mm -hmm. and when to be able to talk to each other. You know, I feel like... Boundaries. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning, I think you set good ones, and then we learned from that, and we've gotten to a good place, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What parenting methods from your childhood have you found to be the most helpful in your adult life? I would just say love, and that's about it. My parents didn't have a ton of... I mean, I think for me it was more... I think there's a lot, but I think that like the routines, like having like the bedtime routine and doing the books and the, you know, all that you stuff. You have that? Yeah. Did you? I think my mom. Yeah. Like read me a book and stuff. My dad didn't. My dad did. That's cool. And so I think. But again, that might have been because they were divorced. No, no, he did when they were together. That's awesome. Yeah. But I think having that, um, just like that routine and kind of knowing what to expect at night. And I what think that- What to expect when you're expecting? No. But I think that it helps when you do the same routines in both houses, when you're co-parenting yeah. and try to keep the same rules so that you don't get like, the kids aren't like, right. we're dying to go to dad's. I don't want anyone to we favor. Get unlimited video game time or- 100%. I only want them to feel like they want to be in either of our households because of us, not because of what the they're allowed extras. to do differently. Yeah. And I think also that is one of the challenging parts is trying to keep the same rules yeah, at both houses for sure. and also trying to, when the rules change, like, you know, I mean, make good thing sure is we do see each other every day. Right. But I can imagine for other people, that's probably a really good piece of advice that we could give. Oh, I think one thing <laughs> that's really interesting is that people say, they'll always ask me, people that I'm really close to, they'll be like, 
how did you guys like did you have like crazy attorneys and you know a, all like a settlement like just like talking about like yeah, figuring out the days and the that might not be something like we can give to other people though like, no because like, I think I'm just saying we I, I think it's nice that we didn't have to involve attorneys we just did it on our own, came up with our own schedule of what made the most sense with the kids. I think we also knew that if we ever got into something like that, I don't think you and I would have the relationship that we have. Right, so I'm just saying, I think that That's is something huge. helpful to people that are going yeah, through that. Yeah, but I don't know that other people can have handle what we it. Have. Yeah. I think, you know, they're fighting with each other and they're not looking to compromise. They're not looking to make exceptions or work with each other. And the only way they can go is the legal route. You and I luckily were able to do it together. And I think it evolved into Huge. like the schedule that we have now. And I you think know. we are very, very, very lucky how we have everything. And another thing is that I think we're lucky that you know, if you wanted to have dinner with the kids on a night that they're here, or if they, you know, we like figure it out. Like it's not yeah, a big deal. I, mean, I it's think like that's come one of the things. Have dinner, or any time that the kids are at your house, I know that I can just go there and see them if I want to, or have dinner. What's mine is yours, and I, listen, I live for the kids, so whatever works and it makes it easier for them is what I'm into. Mm-hmm.